Hey Rep Bags, it's Jay. Today I'm showing you how to get the stun gun as well as the rebreather. I've already done a video showing you how to get the rebreather, but I did it in peaceful mode and I wanted to show what kind of enemies you'll have to actually face inside the cave and I knew there was probably something I'd missed. So here it is, a full complete guide to the cave where you get the stun gun and the rebreather. So first off, you need to head over to the cave that's on the coastline. It's just kind of, I would say, east of the northern purple marker. Or if you spawned on this beach, it's literally just on the beach. This is one of the early crash sites that you can get. Break open the planks and enter. Inside you'll find some supplies, lots of bullets for the 9mm, some vodka as well as obviously some flares. Don't forget to go away and hack at the laptops so you can also get some circuit boards. There'll be more ammo as well as another air canister. So keep going in, it's a relatively simple cave, you'll go through the lights and the bats should hopefully not jump scare you too much and then eventually you'll be in a small shallow pool of water. You'll find a couple of dead guards and just beyond them is fingers and a couple of the mutants. At this point you can run right past them, you don't actually actually need to engage, that might be your best bet. In this cavern there are two ways to go though, you can see the lights here really signifying to go up there but there's also a way to the left which is where the rebreather is, so we'll go to the right first through the light. You should start to hear some music as you start progressing through the caves too. Eventually you will come across a mutant that you won't be able to budge past unless you're super quick at jumping over him. But obviously you're going to be making armour out of all of these, you can now make armour out of the pieces you get from these guys, not just the more creepy creepy ones. So definitely wear it and put it on, and if you did manage to kill all the creatures in the previous room, if you've got any rope you can go ahead and craft some bone armour. You'll come to a small fork with another dead body and some more ammo for the stun gun, as well as a grenade. Go ahead and try using it because you're going to have to deal with yet more mutants, as well as another fingers that will hop out from the left hand side. You may even get one of the mutants come and chase you, but only one of them generally, I haven't had any of the other fingers come this far. But there is one waiting just to the left hand side of the stalites. Obviously these are pretty tough to deal with, I might be making this look easy, I have got it on slightly lesser enemy damage. But really you could probably get away with just running through and not even having to have a fight with any of these guys. He's not guarding much, only a couple of flares and a skull, so it seemed a bit pointless actually coming down here and facing him, so instead go up the right hand side of the dead body you found, head towards the music, you'll find it hanging off the top here. You can obviously again break it open to get circuit board. You'll also find another laptop along the way and you might come across some babies too. Deal with these guys and we're nearly there at the stun gun. There's a red light filter shining through and that's where you'll find the hanging workman with his stun gun. There's also a set of tactical armour here as well. Now I always thought I spawned in with tactical armour as I'd previously swapped it for another set I'd found and it always just gave me tactical armour, but instead I actually realised I had a leather jacket on. Leather jacket does give you a little bit more protection against the rain, whereas the tactical jacket's not that great. But regardless, there you go, I've picked up the stun gun. You do get a chance to look inside and see the sluggy. I'm guessing you'll be able to get access to fight him or face him once you get a key card to open up the doorways that you find in the green circle rooms. Here is the tactical jacket picked up, hanging on the ceiling, and that's it, we're pretty much done. These things will stun and give you ample time to get away and run past or get a few licks in. Said all the way back to the room with the light shining and all the bones on the floor where you first encountered the first creepy and mutants. Don't go out exactly the way that you came in, instead turn around like I said and go down the left hand dark side. This will eventually lead you to a big pool of water once you take care of another mutant and that's got a shark in it. The entrance to the waterway is very small, it's in quite a large cavern, stick to the right hand side hugging the wall and go through. There's nothing else in that cavern that I could find. You'll be on a ledge overlooking the shark and there's plenty of goodies to get here too. Make sure you go ahead and obviously get some of the rocks here, but more importantly the rope. And then on the opposite side of the water you will then be able to go ahead and pick up arms and legs, these can be used as distraction for the shark so you can swim in the water, and on the left hand side of the ledge you'll find lots of juice as well as some wire. You'll see the light shining pretty much on the breather, there's also more food and a bunch more vodka as well as some cloth and more skulls and bones. Again break the circuit board, grab another energy drink and you've got yourself the rebreather as well as a watch and flares again. Rebreather should auto equip whenever you jump in the water, 
and you can pretty much get out this way. Just throw a leg towards the left hand side of where you came in, hopefully the shark taking notice, dive into the water and head more towards the ground. Then keep the water to your left hand side and go further in. There is a chance you might get distracted or kind of disorientated and go back on yourself. But if that's the case, just keep going down as much as possible and eventually you'll come to the entranceway that's going to take you over to the surface. It does take quite a few minutes. I have cut it short here just for levity. And that's it. You've made it to the surface with the rebreather, the stun gun and a whole bunch more resources. And yes, you can use the stun gun on poor Kelvin. And yes, I'm working on a compilation of how many times I can injure or kill him. If you're a right cheating bastard like me, you can always save your game outside the cave, reload and run back in to get untold amounts of the stun gun ammo and of course all the other goodies that you found inside that cave. But there you go, complete guide to the stun gun rebreather cave network. If you found that guide useful, check out the rest of them, especially my start guides and look out for more even in-depth location guides and tutorials. And if you want to see me stream the game, go and check out my new channel. It's called JPG 100 Days and it's where I'll be live streaming the Sons of the Forest, complete playthrough from beginning to the end. Until next time, Rockbags, laters.